Hey everybody, how are you? My name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. This week I'm going to be going over the internal obliques. Last week we went over the rectus abdominis, so if you didn't check that out, please go back and look at that. Please view any other videos that you may have some interest in. So, this week again I'm going to go over the internal obliques. I'm going to go over the origin and insertion first so we know where we're talking about. Finally, I'll apply some functions to it so you know what this muscle does and then finally I'll provide you some exercises that you can do so you can work on strengthening or making the internal oblique better okay so let's get started with the location and we'll move on from there the internal obliques originate on the inguinal ligament on the upper half of that inguinal ligament which is right about in here inguinal ligament runs this way so we're looking about the upper half of that okay also the anterior two-thirds of your iliac crest okay which would be your hip bone so right on the crest there the anterior two-thirds of this okay is where that internal oblique also originates along with the lumbar fascia back here okay and then inserts onto the costal cartilages of ribs 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so which is about right in here. It also inserts onto the lena alba, which is a tendinous white line that runs and divides the rectus abdominis in half. Okay, so that line that runs right down through the center of your stomach right here is the lena alba. Okay, so we're looking at an origin right through here. Okay, again, an origin of the internal obliques runs right up through here. Okay, and then inserts right in here. Right in here. Okay, so now that we know where the internal obliques lie, we can now apply functions to it. And just keep in mind whenever I apply functions to it, the direction of the muscle fibers. Due to the origin and insertion of the muscle, the muscle fibers actually run this way. Not so much this way, which is where the external obliques run. Okay, so the external obliques run this way, the internal obliques run this way. So just keep in mind that these muscle fibers run down towards the hip bone. Okay. So when applying functions to it, you do need to keep that in mind. Um, now there are two sides to the internal obliques, okay? If both sides activate at the same time, you're looking at lumbar flexion, okay? Again, lumbar flexion is whenever you bend forward and you have that roundness in your lumbar spine. So again, lumbar flexion, okay? You're also looking at posterior pelvic rotation. Remember, posterior pelvic rotation is whenever we tuck our butt under. This would be anterior pelvic rotation. This is posterior pelvic rotation. Okay? So again, whenever both sides activate, we're looking at lumbar flexion and posterior pelvic rotation. Whenever one side activates, we're looking at, you know, separate um, functions even though both sides do technically the same uh, type of function, they do them separately. Um, we're looking at, for example, the right side. If the right side were to activate, we're looking at lateral flexion to the right. So that would be lateral flexion to the right, okay? We're also looking at lateral rotation to the right, okay? And this is where, remember, the muscle fibers run like so. So if I if the muscle fibers are run like this, lateral rotation like this would work the internal obliques on the right. Okay. And we're also looking at lateral pelvic tilt to the left. Okay. So again, for the left side, we're looking at lateral flexion to the left. Okay. Lateral rotation to the left due to the direction of the muscle fibers. Okay, and then we're looking at lateral pelvic rotation to the opposite side. So now that we know the location and the functions, now we can apply some exercises to the muscle. So as far as exercises for the internal obliques, we're looking at 
exercise is similar to the rectus abdominis and the external obliques. We're looking at sit-ups, crunches, side bends. Um, we're looking also at uh, leg raises, which would be more towards the toes to bar. Um, you would have on leg, excuse me, regular leg raises. We're looking at stabilization of the core, so we're not swinging around or anything like that. You also may get some work from the internal obliques due to the position or the origin of the internal obliques. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, however, you get the most work if you actually do the toes to bar. Okay, so again, toes to bar. You can do them with bent knees and bring your knees up to your chest. Or you can straighten your legs out if you're more advanced and take your toes up to the bar. And that is without any prior swing to that. Okay, again, also side bends. Okay, you can hold two dumbbells and side bend. Okay. They also have an ab machine out there where you can sit. Okay, and you hold on to two handles. You put your shoulder, your shoulder, excuse me, against the pad and you rotate your lower body. Okay, they, they have that at places such as like Planet Fitness and so on and so forth. Um, also, you're looking at, as far as crunches go, you can do frog sit-ups or crunches, uh, side crunches, uh, cross crunches, bicycle crunches, pretty much any, any type of crunch is going to work, but remember to pull the belly button in towards your spine and tuck your butt under so there's no arch in your lower back, so you don't have any injuries in your lower back. If you do have any issues with your lower back, please discuss them with your doctor prior to performing any exercise. It's re re excuse me, recommended that you do discuss the types of exercises that you're going to do on a daily basis with your doctor, um, just to give them an idea to make sure that it is okay for you to go ahead and do so, so it's not interacting with any health issues or injuries that you may have. Please be conscious of that so you don't injure yourself any further, okay? So again, I hope everybody has learned something this week, and I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. If you did, please hit the like button or the thumbs up button and share it with a friend. Also, please share it around the gym that um, you learned something and you may show them something that you they ne never even knew. So I hope everybody has a good week. I hope everybody has a productive week. And have a good night, everybody. See you later.